right, so uh, Carver M500T. This works just fine. The customer wants the lamps upgraded to blue LED. So here's the before. Here's with the incandescent white light. You just heard the relay click. Uh, so I just wanted to get a before shot and then we'll get into changing the bulbs and then an after shot and then uh, call the video good. Now I, uh, I like to keep things stock, original typically, but you know, people love blue lights. So, um, I mean, I can vouch for the fact that if you turn something on in one of the shops and it has blue, like bright blue lights, uh, people, people love that aesthetic. So what I'm going to be doing today is changing out these two lamps for blue and I got two cool blue wedge lamps that I'll be installing in those slots. Let's see what these look like. Oh, if you ever see, if you ever notice, I have these little bags and it says like Pioneer, whatever, or, or some other brand. So when I, bought, when I order those belt kits, um, and you'll see it in another video, I'm waiting for a part to come in on a cassette deck. But if I need to order belts, for a cassette deck, I go to W. Joe uh, Radio, right? This is www.beltkits.com. That may be another way to get to it, but it's W. Joe Radio. And uh, they individually package each belt. And then you also get um, uh, CAD instructions on how to take the, you know, the cassette deck apart and then change the belt. So I always keep these to put screws in because once I go into something and do like an initial val, eval or something, I, I don't put it back together. I just use these little bags for these screws. So if you ever, you know, notice that I've got them sitting on the bench, you know, I've got, I don't know, 30 of these little bags floating around that I just use. So I don't have to, you know, take something apart again and I don't lose the screws. All right. So here are the new lamps. Man, holy smokes. Gosh, couldn't get that stupid bag open. All right, so what I do on these is I, I bend, right, these little tiny tabs out, or these little tiny wires out, and I will solder them onto the existing wires and then I'll shrink then I'll shrink them after I'm done so it's going to kind of look like that right I'm going to solder the two wires onto these ends put some shrink on it and uh, call it good now I do have some heat sinks especially if you're doing this with incandescent bulbs you may want to clip some heat sinks onto them Right, dissipate the dissipate the heat so you don't damage the bulb. Plus, you can hold that other wire, you know, the wire or whatever you're attaching to it in position. So it makes the job, sometimes makes the job easier. Usually these, when you're soldering onto the wires, it doesn't go as particularly smooth. But hopefully this one doesn't go too bad. So these are held on with little tiny barrel clips. I usually just cut the wire. I've tried to reuse these, these clips before in the past and I have not had much success doing that. So clip the wires and strip it. Clip the wires and strip it, there we go. These bulbs are actually good, so I will keep those as spares. So what you're going to see me do now is grab some shrink, strip the ends off the wires, right? solder those in position, pop it in, and I'll do that for both sides.
So there we have the LED upgrade lamp replacement on the Carver MT500. I'm going to kill the lights here on the bench. I'm going to plug this in and show you what it looks like. All right, nice blue lights now. Perfect. Pretty easy repair. Again, this was working, so there's no testing that I need to do on this or anything like that. So, on to buttoning it up and calling it good. Uh, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, I will see you next time.